All right, since we're on the subject of school board meetings, let's play this clip for you. This is a woman. This is also Virginia, I believe. This is, uh, I think, Fair. Yeah, okay. Uh, FCPS, that's Fairfax County Public Schools in Virginia. So many of these videos are from public schools in Virginia. Um, it's it's a mess in Virginia. It's not, it's, it's again, it's like this in men, all across the country, but for whatever reason, uh, Virginia is sort of at the tip of the spear right now. So here's a woman, and we can't, th- there's a large portion of her address to the school board that we can't play because we just have to bleep the entire thing. So there's no, no point in playing it. But she is very concerned and angry about some straight-up pornographic books that are available in the library to students in Fairfax County. And she does talk about that, and then she actually reads some passages from the book. That part we had to cut out. Um, but then it's interesting at the end to hear the way that the school board reacts to her and responds to her and what they say. Listen to this. The books were available, and we checked them out. Both of these books include pedophilia, sex between men and boys. Both books describe different acts. One book describes a fourth grade boy performing oral sex on an adult male. The other book has detailed illustrations of a man having sex with a boy. The illustrations include fellatio, sex toys, masturbation, and violent nudity. Pedophilia here. This is not an oversight at Fairfax I'm High sorry. School. I'm sorry. This may I, yes. material, may I material make a point of, please, there are children may, in the audience here. Do not like, interrupt children, my Andrew. time. Yes. Do not interrupt my time. I would like to remind everybody. I will stand here until my time is restored and my time is finished. These books are in stock and available in the libraries of Robinson, For high school Langley, students, ma'am. and Annandale High School. Pornography is offensive um, to Clark. all people. It is offensive to common decency. It is the reason why the MPAA... And then they cut her off. Now they're concerned about the, the kids. Ma'am, there are kids here. First of all, I'm looking at the footage right now. I don't see any kids in the audience. I don't know. I Okay, let's see there. Do you see any kids? Anyone see any kids there? I see adults. I see no children. Oh, but now, now they're worried about kids. The imaginary invisible children with invisibility cloaks that are sitting apparently in the, uh, in the audience there at the school board meeting. If there are children there, yeah, this is inappropriate, but that's why it shouldn't be in the school. And, and you got to love how one of the... Um, School board members corrects her and says, well, those are high high school. Those are for high school students. Yeah, so like 14-year-olds? They're still minors. They're still children. You freak. You creep. You degenerate filth. It's it's hard to fully appreciate because we had to, again, we had to cut out. You you can go and look, find that clip online if if you want to. We had to cut out the part where she's actually reading from it, but it is graphic, graphic depictions of not just uh, descriptions, I should say, graphic, graphic descriptions of not just sexual activity, but specifically sexual activity between young boys and adult men. And these are books that they put in the school for kids to check out. Is there an intentional uh, plan to normalize pedophilia? Yes. Is it in the school system? Absolutely. It's time to really wrap our minds around that. That's not a, this is not slippery slope. We're not talking about d- into the distant future, what might happen in some dystopian vision of the, of the future. It's not a conspiracy theory. This is what they're doing right now in the school system. So much of what they do in schools I mean, sex ed itself, the sex ed program, modern sex ed program, what they call call comprehensive sex ed in the schools, that is all a, a plot, a plan to sexualize children. That's where it comes from. That's what it derives from. That's, it's, 
That, that, that is the origin story of comprehensive sex ed. You know, it's why they, they have sex ed classes teaching elementary schoolers about masturbation and so on. I opened the show a few weeks ago talking about the, the history of, um, of the well-known, renowned pervert Alfred Kinsey. And even to this day, decades later, you know, much of what they teach in sex ed is based on the work of Kinsey, who was a, was a degenerate creep himself and a pervert and believed that, that children, small children, babies were sexual creatures. And that's why he had, you know, studies where he, where he would give stopwatches to pedophiles and have them go rape babies and time time it and then fill out a chart to tell us how many alleged orgasms the the babies had. Um, and that was his, that was his great work that he, that he contributed to society in his book, the sexual behavior in the human male still is like the Kinsey Institute still around today, widely respected as well. All of our modern sex ed traces back to him. And that's what he wanted to do. That was his belief, that children are, are, are sexual. And that no sexual behavior is immoral. That, there is, that, that's, that sexuality is an amoral arena. That any attempt to impose any kind of morality on any sexual behavior was wrong, was you know, ironically immoral by his, by his way of thinking. So that's where it comes from, going back decades. And so we should not be surprised to see this sort of thing. Hey, listen, hit the subscribe button. Do it right now. I demand it. And I thank you for your compliance. It is somewhat appreciated.